Wow. Waterproof boots, waterproof socks. What is your preference? Socks. Then prefer both. Scuba diving gear. <laughs> We're gonna cover that one minute. Everybody, welcome to Bishop Green's Island. This is Rich, back home in New Orleans. Obviously, you see got a thunderstorm coming through. And I just took my rain gear off, rolled about 60 miles in the rain, and my feet feel like they're soaking wet. However, I do have on waterproof socks. My boots, not waterproof. Now, I just figured it's a great opportunity to take advantage of this storm that's going through and really, really test out my socks. Because normally when I'm riding, my boots will get wet, my socks will get soaked. But I very seldom ride it with my waterproof socks on. I have them on now, and my feet feel extremely wet. They do not feel dry. I'm going to let you know what brand I got. So what I'm going to do is take an opportunity of this and do a real test where I walk in puddles and see if I get back, my feet will be dry. Let you know what type of waterproof socks I use. Now, I didn't just buy this randomly. I saw someone else use it on their site, so I thought, why not, since I don't have waterproof boots. So let's go out here. It's been raining like this for an hour. I rode an hour to get some new tires and have to ride back in the rain with brand new tires, which I wouldn't suggest. But, Kate was in the car, if you can see the car here, you see. Right there, Kate was in a car, and she met me at the dealer, and I told her, hey, just cover me. And she had her blinkers on while I rode in the rain coming back. The new tires in the rain, not good. But let's go on with this review with this video. Then I'll take my boots off and go out here and see what it looks like. must be honest, the outside of the sock is wet. But that has nothing to do with the inside. So I'm going out here and walk in some puddles of water and see these socks really, really work. Put back on my rain jacket. Woo, it's been flooding. Look, you see that? Hey, you see that? Go the window down. <laughs> be nice if I had the hood up. It don't look good. Uh, water is coming up on the curve, so it looks like I'm gonna have some flooding today. But my socks are soaked. So basically, this is a test to take them off. And once I take them off, see my feet are dry. Yeah, they're really, really wet. Okay, here we go. You can see the socks are extremely wet on the outside. They are extremely wet on the outside. Let me show you. Look at that. Really, really wet. 
I decide to soak them. Now I know when you're riding, you're not gonna have that much water, but I figured this would be a great test to test out your waterproof socks. Now I know many of you have waterproof boots. And I know some of the complaints with the waterproof boots are yeah, it's in the air cool. And then your feet get that old fancy. I need a water, I need a canoe, baby. <laughs> Okay, look like the rain letting up with the water flooding the street. They have the first test on my left foot. Wow. We have something else dry. But that one looks pretty dry. Now there are some wet spots, but not enough to, for me to be uncomfortable. I can write with see what happens. I get it on. Oh, I forgot to mention my socks are knee high. Easy to put on, difficult to take off. Not the brand, just got them up knee high. Okay, right foot coming off. Let's see what happened? Another car ready to go Wow, my right foot is absolutely 100% dry. And on the inside, the sock is dry. So apparently they work. Whew. The brand, I know you can buy any brand waterproof socks or it probably would be easier to get waterproof boots depending on how you feel about it. I very seldom ride with the socks and I always get caught in the rain. Look at it. <laughs> turn it inside out and I can't squeeze no water out. Let me turn it the other way and see what happens. And I get caught in the rain and my feet are always soaked. And I very seldom put my socks on. Wow. Wow, look at this. That is the outside. Okay, this one was kind of nothing. But got a little bit coming. So some penetrated my left foot, my right foot on here, percent dry. Even though my left foot on had moisture on top of the foot. So I'm gonna turn it back the way it's like this. Like where? See what happens. Wow. So it's absorbed all that water on the outside, but nothing touched the inside. So that's pretty good. Okay, the brand is Randy Sun. Sun like the sun is not shining today. And I have a long sock that come all the way up to my knees so I can walk in at least three feet of water. Let me show you how bad this is. A truck coming by now. And this is right in front of my sister house. Look. That is what I walked through. And I stood there at least two minutes, or probably about a minute and a half. And I see the socks done extremely well. Once again, this is how I have my foot inside here. And here's what I get on the outside. The result, staying in that water. So if you're thinking about waterproof socks, I would say get you several pair. I only have one pair. That way, when a pair of being washed and cleaning, you can have another pair on. Or a simple solution, <laughs> get some waterproof boots. Because the problem with waterproof socks are this. I have my regular tactical boots. They aren't water. The problem with waterproof socks is, yes, my feet stay dry, but my boot is wet. So if the next day I want to wear regular socks, I can't wear it with these boots. But the problem with waterproof boots, from what I've heard, I don't have waterproof boots, Hick does, is no ventilation in the boots. So I guess you can find a great brand that has great ventilation. If you got waterproof boots, let me know. And it does great ventilation or your feet stink when you take them off after a long day ride. Anyway, just want to do this real, real quick review of waterproof socks. Like I said, that brand is Randy Sun. I'm sure there's hundreds of brands on the market right now. Oh, just let you know how I come across Randy Sun. I was watching YouTube with one of my favorite YouTubers, Slappy's Adventure. And I looked down his gear list and he had Randy Sun 
on his gearless. So both Cake and I decided to buy Randy's son waterproof socks, even though she had water, <laughs> even though she had waterproof boots. So she's got a double win if she put a sock on. I only win once to where my feet won't be cold and wet. At least they'll be dry. But then I got to go through the hassle of drying out the boots. So tell me what you think. You prefer waterproof boots or waterproof socks or a combination of both? Anyway, don't go riding this stuff. You see how deep that is, babe? I see that. Imagine if I came in that. It just wow. turned like this after I already parked the bike. And I went there and I was there for probably about a minute and a half, maybe two minutes. And I let it come all the way up. And my, my right foot, my left foot had a little wetness on the top. Right, no wetness, totally dry. Well, it's wet now. But when I turned it over and done that, water came out. So look at that. Go get the, go get the, the jet ski. That's what we need, the jet ski ski. Waterproof boots, waterproof socks. What is your preference? Fox. Do you prefer both? Scuba diving gear. <laughs>